Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Let's say you have a fight between uh, Mike Tyson in his prime, the boxer, against a uh, crippled individual, and they fight. And obviously, Tyson, Tyson will dispose this guy in no time. But nevertheless, you're going to have the commentator saying that the crippled guy plans a counterattack to knock Mike Tyson out. So what do you think? Is uh, is the these guys, the commentators, are idiots? Are they paid? They have an ideology? They have an interest? What's going on over there? Because it's almost clear that Tyson will not be knocked out by that guy who already is trashed in the ring. So the same thing when uh, these guys are telling us, which they try to tell us here in two articles, actually one article picked up by two other uh, media uh, outlets, which is Ukrainska Pravda and Sputnik. Ukraine may start another counteroffensive in uh, 2025. <laughs> we don't even know if, we're, if we are alive, alive tomorrow, if these guys allow us to be alive tomorrow. But hey, the counteroffensive in 2025. In December 2025 or January, so I can plan my Christmas uh, parties. All right, let's look over the first article. Ukrainska Pravda. Ukraine may start another counteroffensive in 2025. CNN sources, Friday 19th of January 2024. Sources in international intelligence and military officials believe, that's great, if they believe, I believe a pig can fly too that combat actions in Ukraine will go on for at least two more years. Furthermore, some believe, again believe, it's such a poor word, that there will be no major victories on the battlefield in 2024. How do you know that? I would like to, uh, to know the reasoning, how they uh, reach that conclusion. Now, since, this is the argument right here, it seems like, since both Ukraine and Russia will restore their military strength and that Ukraine can restart its counteroffensive in 2025. What do you mean since? Is that a fact that both will restore the military strength? Is that a fact? No, because it's in the future. So you don't know that. That's a scenario. I think the best scenario here is Jesus Christ will show up again here and we're going to take us in his uh, station and we're going to get us to see uh, his papa. How about that one? I think that um, uh, vision or uh, scenario, I think, bears more credibility than this guy right here. No? My Christian friends will back me on that one. I know this one. <laughs> but coming from me, I don't know. I don't know if they prepared the steak for me somewhere in the uh, square, in the town square. This is for Emil. Bring some more bushes. <laughs> what are those torches? Hey, he needs a lot. He's a, he's a big dude. 5'2 <laughs> or something. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, but he's got a lot of fat. That is gonna be exploding. <laughs> it's gonna burn for a long time. How about we just squeeze him, squeeze his fat, and we use it for I don't know for torches <laughs> in the castle, <laughs> or maybe use we use his fat when we cook. <laughs> you like that one? Huh? Uh, I can give you some sweat. Maybe that burns. Holy moly! Let's go back here. The counteroffensive starts in 2025. Quote, no matter what happens in American politics this year, no matter, <laughs> no matter, U.S. and Western intelligence officials believe again that Russia's war in Ukraine is likely to go on for much longer. You see how many uh, unknowns here? So first, no matter what happens in American politics this year. Okay, let's say tomorrow uh, the, this, uh, this weasels from the from Capitol building um, the Senate and the House, let's say, they do not agree with the funding. The House does not agree with the, the funding for Ukraine, let's say, which I am 99% certain they will. They will fund the, fund the war, I guarantee you that. They will do that. 99% they will give the money. Maybe they will not give $62 billion, they will give 50, but they will give them. They just voted something to not to uh, uh, shut down the government. These guys are playing for us. No, we're going to do it. I'm, 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 no, I'm, 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 I'm. It's just for a show. And the media knows it because it's owned by the same guy who owns our elected officials. Through what? To campaign donations. Do you think they're going to listen to you? How much did you, did you donate? 20 million? No. Well, maybe $20. 
$50, $100 if you're generous, $1,000 if you're crazy. <laughs> so, you know, and then look, look how many uncertainties are in this little sentence. So no matter what happens in American politics this year, of course it matters. And as, of course, I mean, if we are to be honest and you know, obvious, if we turn to full retard, they say, of course, because it's for real, it's for real. The, the, the Republicans will stop funding Ukraine. That's done. That's one thing versus if they fund, you fund Ukraine, don't you think? So it matters what happens here. Let's say Trump gets in place. I'm just, again, playing full retard and believe in uh, all this game. And if Trump comes over there, he stops the war. He gets Putin and he gets, I don't have hair. Uh, Zelensky has a little bit. He uh, gets uh, Putin like this and Zelensky by the hair. Clong, clong, clong. You stop, okay? Go and clean your room. Go and wash your underwear. That's what he's going to do and everybody stops. So we see it matters. But we know that behind all this are the same guys. The military industrial complex, the banking system, the finance, right? And you got the energy sector. These guys are main three. And the pharma, which, you know, comes and helps uh, the military that are hurt. <laughs> so how are they uh, winning? If they don't have wars, if they have wars, more medication. If they don't have wars, they're going to fool us into popping uh, pills through their uh, sponsors, through their advertising on the TV. <laughs> so obvious. And that's the first one, no matter. And then U.S. and Western intelligence officials. Now, Western, U.S. and Western intelligence officials have not zero credibility, negative 2,395 credibility. They are at, at negative. They're not like zero. They're negative. Again, and then the word believe. Believe is not always based on evidence. I believe I go to the other side and I meet uh, Yahweh or whatever. That's a belief. Okay, I believe that the pigs can fly. It's a belief. I can believe. I can. Be, I believe I can get on the moon. But can I? Okay, that's a different story. Now, that Russia's war in Ukraine is likely. What, I mean, what does it mean likely? That likely means 51%. 51 to, let's say, 80. Beyond, uh, beyond 80, between 80 and 100% is highly likely, very likely, super likely. So this guy tell me, and then to go for a, uh, for, to go on for much longer. They don't even tell us for how long. So in this little thing, this is the quote. It's like, this might could have never come back to papaka paka. Assessments vary. No shit. But virtually all, virtually all of them assume. Ass <laughs> so the assessments assume that there will be at least two more years of fighting. Based on what? According to multiple... Sources familiar with the intelligence. I like when they say that. It's like I tell you right now. I spoke with about, uh, with many, and I'm going to give you the name and the number, many, uh, overwhelming number of uh, sources familiar with the issue and Putin wants to fly to Washington DC and meet uh, Biden. Uh, actually, he's on his way. My sources familiar, my overwhelming numerous sources familiar with the intelligence. How can you dispute that? You know how you can? You're going to come and say, hey, he's not there yet. And I'm going to say, well, things came up and I'm going to bring another source that I'm not going to mention, familiar with the issue that tells me that actually Putin met tr uh, Trump, not Trump, Biden in Iceland. Okay? Secretly. And you don't know that. It's confidential. Only my sources know that. This is how these guys work. They can say anything they want. And again, how many freaking, uh, you know, Two more years based on what? Virtually all, but virtual uh, assume. I don't care if they assume. Virt I don't care if it's like it's unanimity, un unanimity, unanimity, unanimitate. Fuck it. All right, unanimity. That's what it is. Unanimity uh, that it could happen. It's it's still zero. It if it's unanimity, it's still zero because they're not certain. We all agree that it could happen. What does that mean? Zero. All right. Privately, some U.S. and Western officials, some, everything did you see is some uh, multiple sources, uh, uh, virtually all assume. It's just uh, no, no matter uh, Western or intelligence officials. It's just I can make this on anything I want and lie my, you know, lie about everything here. 
long enough to outspice them first time. Well, it doesn't. Privately, some US and Western officials say they could be as many as five years years of fighting. I would say could be zero or could be forever or could be a few until the Russians get angry and that's it. So again, US and Western officials do not expect. Uh, this is garbage. Who the fuck is this? This is uh, uh, CNN. CNN tells us, makes this case. I mean, what do you expect? These guys with ha not even half of brain. And then again, Sputnik, four hours ago, Ukraine shifts to active defense and prepares for 2025 counteroffensive reports. It's a fact that Ukraine uh, got to uh, sw shift, shifted to the active defense. They uh, said they will use about 250 million people or something like that or more. 400, because I was thinking, how, where, where, where did you get this money? Oh, from me. <laughs> My bad. But for, I think it was 400 and some million dollars to build defenses. Why? Someone's coming. Anyway, my friends, here it is. Uh, supposedly, they will uh, start a counteroffensive sometime. Might, could, may, possibly, uh, sources, uh, unnamed sources, familiar with the issue. Uh, this, this, is, this is news. This is uh, like you go to an astrologist. An astrologist is going to say, well, the stars and the, um, the, those um, don't align to one another. Astros don't align to one another. You got to wait until Wednesday by the time the little chicken is going to poop some blood. And then the eagle is going to carry a feather in his uh, beak. And then I know a crow is going to do like crow, 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 three times, not two times, three times. That's exactly how these guys write articles. For me, at least, look, listen to them. Read, read them on your own, at your own pace. Not like me, to think, oh, Emily, you're just a fast talker. Are you sure you're not a... Uh... No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't belong to them. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart. My name sounds like, but... Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and, <laughs> and be just. <laughs>